some of the, in my opinion, some of the best examples um, seem to focus on, on workers. Um, so we have, for example, uh, this very large format of a welder kind of hanging off an oil rig. And he was, he was sitting on top of one of the folios and kind of um, caught my eye. And he kind of, you know, he kind of is in this cowboy pose. He looks like he's, you know, riding a, uh, riding a bull. And um, he, he's so dynamic. So he's just, you know, he's doing everything that you want a propaganda poster to do. And you, you can't help but kind of think as ideologically as, as he wants you to. Um, so he was the sort of a first one. Uh, I then encountered um, the girl on, um, next to a tractor. Um, and so I started to think about, OK, well, these are different types of work. Um, and one, you know, one being you know on an oil rig, one being agricultural, and so this this kind of was in the back of my mind. And um, one of the things I wanted to avoid was featuring um, Mao posters too prominently because we've seen a lot of them, and there's a lot of other stuff that we haven't seen probably reproduced as much. So. Um, while there is a, a large Mao contingency in the collection, there are only two in this show. Um, and so the worker kind of was the um, the one, um, how do you say, archetype that I wanted to start to, to bring out. There are four themes um, of work. Uh, one is reading and writing as work, so intellectual work. Um, so we have three posters of people holding books, writing on, check, on chalkboards. Um, often it's Mao quotes themselves that are being either uh, referenced in the title or being rewritten. Um, so I wanted to talk about the idea of um, kind of dematerialized work. What does it mean when we when we read ideology or read propaganda and, and think of that as work? Um, the second theme is uh, work, in, work in the countryside. So we have um, five posters that represent uh, agricultural work or work in the kind of what's termed in two of the posters as the new countryside. So how do we begin to see uh, socius, social, um, uh, how do we see ideology at work in the countryside in terms of either mechanization or um, uh, one of the posters is a uh, intellectual being taught by, by the um, peasants. So how do we begin to see you know, re uh, re-education in the countryside? Um, the next theme is masculine work, which is where we see the my the first guy that I found um, on an oil rig. So these are kind of um, very dynamic, um, very kind of archetypical male masculine figures, oversized, dynamic poses, bright red backgrounds, um, engaged in iron smelting or um, these kind of you know heavy industry and this this kind of heavy industry was one of the ways in which China really saw itself being able to uh, surpass England and catch up with America and this was a slogan that was um, um, that was used all the time that would be contemporaneous with these posters um, the last theme is uh, music and music as labor um, so we have um, one of Mao's quotes set to a musical score um, and we actually see a Canadian Norman Bethune is 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 pictured in one of the vignettes above um, these kind of model workers so um, but we see how singing and and the idea of memorizing through song and slogans is a way of work um, and the last, I guess I would, it, it is actually, the, that was the music is second to last. And the last last theme is um, pictures, Mao, pictures of Mao with model workers. And actually one of the titles of the posters is um, Mao and Three Model Workers, um, which kind of is nice. It, it stands on its own and on a movable wall um, because, as I said before, this exhibition isn't about Mao per se, but about in these two posters about Mao's interaction with workers themselves. Um, so that's the kind of last theme.